the concepts that you're seeing offensively through week one, what what did you see in week one that you, you're like, okay, everybody who was like saying Tyreek's gone and we're all screwed here, that you're <laughs> like, okay, we're, we're, we're fine. What, what did you see outside of the obvious statistic uh, result? Yeah, it's more just validation for the idea that it's Coach Reed and it's Patrick Mahomes and they're still going to drive the ball down the field. They signed Valdez Scanling, who's a speed guy. They still have Nicole Hardman. So they've got elite top-end speed, maybe not the single fastest guy in the NFL, but – two of maybe the top three, four, or five receivers in terms of speed. So they're still going to stretch the field vertically. And I think it was a little bit foolish for people to just assume like, oh, well, they can't throw deep anymore. So they're going to go back to, you know, the year that no wide receivers caught a touchdown when Alex was the quarterback and when you know, the receiver talent wasn't what it was. It's like that offense isn't coming back. The offense is still built for speed, for downfield threats. You know, the RPO game kind of opens the field up horizontally in the run game. Right. And the speed of the receiving group opens it up vertically in the passing game and I don't think he's ever going to go back on um, you know having guys that are able to create in both of those ways so give me a moment where you're you're like okay uh, Reed and Biennemi and the rest of this offensive staff just thinks differently you got a moment whether it was an install a meeting a film session anything like that Mitchell Schwartz? there's there's plenty of them to me the coolest thing from my perspective because as an offensive lineman you don't always get to be in the meetings where they're talking to the quarterback, so they're explaining, and this is why we're doing it, or we see this one specific tell from the safety, so we're going to design the play this way. Mm -hmm. Mondays are our off days. Tuesdays, we were on. We watched the film from the previous week, and then there's about a 10-minute uh, period where they get us together, kind of give us some concepts for the upcoming week that they're still mulling over, they're thinking about. And Coach Reed would just pull guys, hey, you line up here, you line up there, and he would just kind of you could see the gears working and like i want you to go seven steps stop there and then i want you to go over here and he's kind of walking through the play as it's happening and it's really the only time from my perspective i can see kind of that genius at work and seeing him he's written it out he understands the spacing but like getting on the field and seeing where the guys are and seeing how it uh, really works um that was one of the cooler things and in all those meetings i mean coach Bianami, he watches every single game a few times, I was going to say a million times, that's mm -hmm. obviously not feasible, but you can go up to him, and especially from the offensive line perspective, like, hey, I'm seeing this blitz, like, what do you think we should do? And he knows exactly the blitz, exactly the game situation, he's got an answer for it. So they're just extremely well prepared, and things can change week to week, because, you know, if you're kind of static in what you do, it might not work for that specific team, that specific blitz pattern, you know, tonight, Brandon Staley's going to run some crazy stuff that they might not have seen before that's pretty intricate. Right. But the Chiefs are going to be as prepared as possible against that. So he's drawn the play up in his mind and then on a piece of paper. And then he walks out and he walks everyone through it. Seven step stop here. You go here. You go there. And so then he validates what he's done or, yeah, because... this is, or he's just saying this play's <laughs> going to work. I got it. And you now need to get it. Is that uh, again? I'm just wondering how. Yeah. That so works. I think it's more. There are coordinators who create and there are coordinators who have been part of a system and kind of understand, oh, it's cover three, so I know this play is supposed to work, and it's cover four, so this is the play we're supposed to run. Right. But I think Coach understands defenses so well that he can manipulate them to what he wants and to, way, to the way they're playing it. So he's creating those plays for that week. It's not just, oh, well, I learned this from Mike Holmgren, who learned it from Bill Walsh, and it worked in the 80s, so it should work now. It's more, oh, this is the style of defense they're running. If I run this guy here and I drag that guy, it might open up this void for me. But I have to make sure that the depths are correct. I have to make sure that the spacing is okay and what the quarterback's seeing kind of aligns together. So that is the on-the-field validation of the spacing, I think, for him. Um, just one of those parts in the process. And, of course, it's, it's, you know, two or three plays. It's not a ton of them, but it is kind of the designer plays of the week.